Good morning, Phil Rigdon here, pastor of St. John Lutheran Church and School. It's a joy to be with you as we gather around God's word. We'll begin today with uh, a verse from Children of the Heavenly Father. Children of the Heavenly Father, safely in his bosom gather, nestling bird nor star in heaven, such a refuge was given. As a child of the Heavenly Father, I pray that you are enjoying his peace and his comfort today. Let's take a look at our reading and pop that open and uh, there we go. Okay, uh, we're taking a look today at another prophecy uh, about Jesus Christ. Uh, remember that the Old Testament is full of prophets uh, and one of the uh, greatest or one of the largest ones there is from Isaiah, uh, and Isaiah is sometimes called the, the fifth gospel because uh, it talks so much about Jesus Christ. And uh, Isaiah, of course, is hundreds of years before Jesus, uh, 700 BC is when Isaiah is doing his work. And so let's take a look. Isaiah 53, 12. Therefore, I will provide him a portion with the many, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he poured out his soul to death and was numbered with the transgressors. That'll be important uh, as we move forward. Yet he bore the sins of many and makes intercession for the transgressors. All right, now remember that uh, prophets are not speaking their own word. Uh, they are giving the Lord's word. The Lord is speaking through them. This is uh, God's word. He is talking about his son, Jesus Christ. Uh, so. Tune in there where it says he poured out his soul to death and was numbered with the transgressors. In other words, this savior is going to be put in the midst of criminals and he will be treated like a criminal and he bore the sins for many. So let's take a look at the next slide. Uh, and probably you caught this already on uh, Mark 15. Remember, this is the end of Mark, uh, the account of Christ's crucifixion. And verse 27 says, and they numbered him, and with him they crucified two robbers, one on his right and one on his left. Remember that Jesus was convicted as uh, a criminal, and he was sentenced to death uh, with these two robbers. It was very common uh, for the sake of efficiency that you would say, hey, you know what, we're going to do a crucifixion today. We have a couple more folks uh, who we're also going to put to death. Let's do this together. Um, now, just a point of important theology there. We want to make sure that we look at this. Remember that there was one robber that looked at Jesus, and uh, he said, there's the Son of God. Please, uh, in a, please basically uh, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Uh, the other one mocked Jesus. Now, we don't want to look at that and say, hey, you know what, there's one uh, criminal that chose Jesus and the other one uh, didn't choose Jesus. That's false. Um, the only reason that a person comes to Jesus is because uh, the Lord comes to them in his Holy Spirit uh, and brings faith to them. What is important to see here is both criminals saw Jesus. Both criminals saw Jesus. In other words, they both uh, received this gospel message. They were both... Um, their eyes were open to Jesus. However, once that message was given by the Holy Spirit, one of the criminals uh, saw Jesus and said, yep, that's Jesus. Remember me in your kingdom. The other one saw the same Jesus, the same gospel message and said, no, I don't want it. And of course, there are many people today uh, who have heard the gospel, many who have heard the gospel of Jesus Christ, and they understand it in their heads intellectually, but they have rejected it. And that is so sad. And we pray uh, that the Lord will continue uh, to work with them, continue to reach out. Uh, and so our comfort here today is looking at this from a gospel perspective. Uh, when I look at my life, I know that I am counted with transgressors, but not as a savior. Uh, I look at that image and I say, that's me on the cross, and I deserve to be crucified. That's me up there on the hill, and I deserve to be crucified, and so do you. But Jesus did not. 
Instead, Jesus goes to the cross. And so let's uh, conclude with a couple of remarks here. Uh, remember that because Jesus died on the cross, because he was counted, although righteous, he was counted as a criminal, that means that I'm forgiven because of what he did, and you are forgiven because of what he did, and he rose again. Another note as we close here, remember St. John will begin worship again on site here at uh, the church on Thursday the 21st, Thursday the 21st, and we'll continue with that. There are lots of other details uh, about that, and um, please take a moment to check those out. Call the church if you're not sure, uh, and let me share one more slide here uh, as a reminder. Uh, going a little long today with our devotion, but uh, it's important. All right, uh, check things out here for St. John, our website, sjlc.net, also YouTube and Facebook for worship, Bible studies, and devotions. Uh, and uh, we'll continue with that, and, and we invite you to learn more about how we will begin worship again. Our prayer is that you are well, and God's blessings to you until we meet again.